Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Chat. And in this video tutorial, I will show you how I create the pop out effect or the popping out effect just like this one's here. And I have this Corgi Love and Train Harder poster. It's very easy and fun to create. You can use this effect on any images, graphics, or photos. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, a huge welcome to you. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I truly appreciate your help. And for my lovely subscribers, a big fat thank you again and again for the support, guys. All right, with that out of the way, let's get started. So now I'm in my Canva account and the dimension for this is poster size. Click on the circle and you can just choose over here. So for now, let's just do the circle. So once you have that, just go to photos or pixels or you go to more, you can use pixels or Pixabay to find some photos and images. So I use pixels for this and I just typed in Corgi and this is the guy that I actually use. So just drag this cutie over here in your frame and it will just snap inside the frame. And next is double click on this and just resize it. It's just gonna pop out of that frame. So maybe something like this. So the face is going to pop out and one of its paw. All right. And then click on that one. Now, the most important thing here is you select this frame and then lock it. So once it's locked, you can see this uh, lock icon over here and this can't be edited. So you can even move this around. So now that you have that, all you need to do is this photo, take this photo and remove the background. If you're on a free account on Canva, uh, you can't remove the background here. So all you have to do is just uh, either you can use Photoshop to remove the background or you can also go to remove.bj. I will put the link down in the description and that way you can just remove the background from there quite easily. So I already have it removed and I'm just going to use it. I'm just clicking it. And now all you have to do is resize it and just make sure that it's aligned with the other one. And that's pretty much done. So all you have to do is design this the way you want it. So you can either put a shadow over this one, a drop shadow, just like this one. I put a drop shadow on it and I also put a background and some elements and some text. The filter, I change it to the solar and that's it. And uh, so I also put a background element on this one. So you can put any backgrounds on that. Yeah, and that's it. And then you can put text and you can actually do this on any other photos, just like this one here. And that's all for now. And I hope you learned something and check out my Canva playlist for more Canva fun. And thanks again for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it already and click that notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Keep watching and keep learning. See you in the next one. Bye.